Hey, what's up, everybody? So, all right, so like everybody know, well, it's like a, I think this needs to be said. Um, dealing with bullies. I mean, y'all probably think that, oh, Dre, you know what I'm saying? You're so positive or whatever. You've never dealt with this type of stuff or whatever. But hey, I got a story for you. Check me out, though. Check me out, though. So, this is how you deal with bullies. Man, so this is what, this was like, huh, my seventh grade year. So, yeah, I was in seventh grade. My brother, my older cousins, and all the older people from my uh, neighborhood, they went to high school. So, us younger ones, we were left in, you know what I'm saying, middle school. Wasn't that many of us. Uh, so, in my, high, in my middle school, it was this group of dudes, man, from like some of the worst neighborhoods in Charlotte, right? And they called themselves the Thug Angels. <laughs> Back in the day, it sounded intimidating because we had us a little group called, you know what I'm saying? We just, we were people that basically we called ourselves like the Pretty Boys and then we had a group called Pimp Juice and it was Pimp Juice against the Pretty Boys, but we was all friends though, you know what I'm saying? We used to just all dance against each other and stuff like that in school. It was just for all funs, but the Thug Angels, you know what I'm saying? They was on some like, yo, we're going to run up on you, take what you got type stuff. So this is how it started with me. I was in dance class, right? In dance class, we had to take off our shoes and put our shoes in the cubby and stuff like that. So we're going over our dance routines, our steps and stuff like that. And I see the dude, a dude in my class over there messing with my shoes. He trying to put my shoes on. So I'll go over there and check. I'm like, yo, son, those are mine. Like, put my shit back. Put my stuff back. So, uh... You know what I'm saying? He ended up getting mad and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, you just ain't gonna be touching my stuff like that. That ain't gonna happen like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a guy that's always into sports. I was playing football, track, basketball, all that stuff. I always made the team. And I was always surrounded by other athletes and stuff like that too. So it ain't gonna be that easy to get to me. So he's squaring up and stuff like that. He ain't gonna do nothing or whatever. I ain't trying to get suspended. You know what I'm saying? I gotta play football after school. So I'm just like, all right, it is what it is, bro. Like, you ain't, I mean, basically, you don't want to see me, but I'm not going to press the issue. It is what it is. So, after that, you know what I'm saying, I guess he was feeling some type of way. So, when we was leaving the class or whatever, he was just like, yeah, okay, okay. That's why I'm going to get all my homeboys, and we're going to jump you. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is? Like, when somebody say that, like, oh, we're going to jump you. You know what I mean? I heard the echoes. I was like, damn. They going to jump me. So, it went funny back then, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know how you sitting in class and stuff like that? And the clock, class is going by fast as a mug these days, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, dang, I'm sitting there in class, right? And the thing that made it worse, I'm sitting in class, and these dudes were walking past my classroom. Like, you know the little slit in the door, or your classroom door? It was like five of them in the little door outside. They didn't even, they ain't even in class. I don't even think they graduated uh, middle school. I'm just joking. I don't know if they ever gonna see this. But uh, <laughs> they was looking. They was looking. They was like, "Hey man, we... you know what I mean? You know what that mean? Like after we gon', you know what I'm saying? But hey, yo, check this out. I had a dude in my class in middle school. This dude was uh 17. Facts. He was 17. This dude was like six four. He was like, "Hey bro. He was like, "You cool, bro? I got you." I was like, hey, man, <laughs> I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. So after the bell rung and school was over, you know what I'm saying, I casually walk out like I was cool, heart beating, walking out of class, you know what I'm saying, with my book bag, you know what I'm saying, looking, oh, I don't see nobody, so I just make an A-line, you know what I'm saying, straight to the locker room. Let me get to the locker room with my boys, you know what I'm saying, and my escort that's 17 years old, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to make it or whatever, and... I make it to the locker room. Eventually, the dudes come to the locker room, come close to the locker room, but you know what I'm saying? We the football team. Ain't none of that going down. Y'all gonna get massacred. So, <clears throat> what happened was, you know what I'm saying? Days and stuff go by, days go by, days go by. People keep getting, you know what I'm saying? People keep passing messages like, oh yeah, they said they're gonna jump you. They're gonna jump you after school and all this other stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? That turned into weeks. And then they got mad because one of their girlfriends liked me. I got a number, whatever. But uh, I got tired of it. 
you know what I'm saying? That, that, that feeling ran old. So we was changing classes and I was walking by myself. I, I was forgetting, the, I was just, you know, so I was done with the whole situation. I see the group of them. It's like 10 of them. And they walking towards me. So I just walk up to them. I was just like, I just stood there, dropped my book bag. I was like, hey, heard y'all want to jump me. What's up? You know what I'm saying? That's what it come to. I was just ready to get it out the way. Let's go ahead. Do what y'all got to do. What's up? I'm taking out a couple of y'all with me. So they look shocked. My principal, luckily, hey, he was right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jumped in, grabbed us. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Grabbed me and the leader or whatever and took us in to talk to each other. And we broke it down to what was going on. And then we squashed it from there. And then we was cool. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they grew up to be, you know what I'm saying? Some lawful abiding citizens and stuff like that. Some good dudes. Hopefully they're doing well in life and stuff like that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? We were kids. You know what I'm saying? We can just we can we can look back on it and laugh now, you know what I'm saying? Even if I seen them to this day, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't hold grudges and stuff like that. We were kids, man. But um how you deal with bullies, man, sometimes you gotta leave you gotta hit them like head on. You know what I'm saying? You can't be always scared out here, you know what I'm saying? Fear, you can control fear. And that's a fact, you know what I'm saying? You can control fear. You don't have to be afraid. Go ahead and confront that. If you feel like it's that 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 is inevitable for you to, you know what I'm saying? If it's if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So go ahead and get it out the way. Not saying that you should do what I did and be like, hey, heard y'all want to jump me. You know what I'm saying? I was just jumping out. I was just tired. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, just let somebody know. Don't be afraid to let somebody know that you're being bullied and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Open up. Don't beat yourself up about it. It happens to everybody. It even happened to me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's going to be all right at the end of the day. So don't let bullies get you down. Keep your head up and keep moving in the right direction and you're going to be all right. But like I always say, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. And I'm out.